Shalom, Hebrews, back at it. Today we want to cover the um, five of fawn, one is, and seventh is of the eighth. And meta, tubal cain, uh, I got some interesting finds with this uh, infinity symbol, okay? It's obviously, and Apple has it too, the uh, infinity loop. But anyway, so I was starting here with the upon her forehead. So I clicked that forehead to see what word was used because everyone's talking about, you know, the forehead with obviously, you know, you have the mark of the beast and everything. So look up the word for forehead. <clears throat> That's used in Revelation. It's meta pawn. Now pawn is just going to be the face. And then so meta obviously is translated after or behind with so it's literally after the face is the forehead, and it's literally meta. And I go, oh, that's pretty interesting. So there's this idea of this infinity loop on the forehead. Okay, you could say the two eyeballs, but if you think about this even more, look at this. It's literally got a cross. It's the mark of Cain. In, in an elongated form. You literally have the four cardinal directions and then and it, it's the square and the compass. It's the squared circle. You see that? So all you're doing to create an infinity loop is you're going through these four cardinal directions, the great circle, um, which is obviously why you had all these, in very, every single religion around the world, they dance around in circles, which is the great initiation, is what that really is talking about, or the great, the four seasons, yes, but it's going through the four cherubs, right? So it's pretty interesting. Now, we've talked about plenty on the other videos, is this would be lion, ox, man, eagle, depending which direction you go. Theirs is backwards, okay? So... That's what this really is, okay, guys? So that is the infinity loop or the meta symbol, okay, guys? So there's, uh, you know, before Facebook changed it to meta, they were obsessed. Everybody said, well, it was non-debatable that, yeah, they were obsessed with uh, Tubalcane, right? Let's see if I got to go back to that picture. Where was it? Uh, somewhere. Yeah, so before they were obsessed with Tubal Cain. We Everybody knew, yes, this was the two balls. So now they're just taking it a step further and just going straight to this uh, infinity loop, okay? Uh, now, what's interesting is this is also the uh, how you would say the two, the north and the southern hemisphere, or obviously Jack and Boaz, the celestial and the terrestrial sphere, and before they even said the world was a ball, they would map it on two circles like this, okay? Those very old maps, even when they, the flat earth maps were still mapped on these two circles. So this is the concept of the, um, another way of just saying the interdimensional plane, right? Which is the infinity loop, another way of saying. And then you also see it on, on globes. You'll see the infinity symbol uh, around the equator, the Tropic of Capricorn and the Tropic of Cancer, right? So it's kind of interesting, too, that <clears throat> going to this Capricorn uh, idea, because now I, I did mention a little bit back this, I was going to cover this five of fallen, one is, yeah, there's not come, seventh is of the eighth. So obviously this eighth symbol, seventh is of the eighth, um, you can see this right here. So two bulk, and eight is of the seven, I should say. So this makes an eight symbol. Now, obviously, the octagon is a very uh, heavy in the Templars, right? Okay, this is what's used for octagon, right? And at the 32nd degree, you've got a pentagon, triangle pentagon, and then you've got, it looks like a sept or heptagon, which is seven, and then a nonagon, which is nine. But anyway, this is huge. And they say, encampment around the uh, Knight of Malta at the center is a triangle, They've got five corpses, five princes. <clears throat> Interesting. Sounds a lot like five kings. Five have fallen. Okay, so, interesting. So let's talk about, this is a Lawrence Gardner, Genesis of the Grail Kings. It's very important to know what these Luciferians or these reptilians are thinking. So, 
Going to the pentagram is a strong connection with the pentagram and Vulcan, depending if it's male or, you know, the divine ma masculine or divine feminine, right? And this whole book is all about this starfire, this astral light. And I'll look, let you uh, research what starfire actually is. It's this blood uh, that they drink. And that's the whole, where that's the origin of Dracula, dragon, blood drinking, um, which is why, you know, blood was forbidden to be drinking. In the Leviticus, you can see all that, the drinking of blood. But it's because they were, according to him, Lawrence Garner, they were drinking, these Anunnaki's were drinking this blood, and that is the origin of the Scarlet Woman, believe it or not. So, um, actually, I wanted to show you the the two horns. I always put the horns there, and he goes to, goes to uh, show... The horns are kind of more or less represent more of an antenna, he was saying. But I uh, can't remember where I saw it, but it had the, he's talking about, there it is, Capricorn. We were just talking about Capricorn. You remember that? That's a, there's another infinity loop, Tropic of Capricorn, infinity loop um, symbol for you. Anyway, thought that was interesting. So then, uh, going back to this whole Starfire thing, and he's talking about where this later, it went from blood drinking to basically the alchemical gold dust. Here we go. The star fire continued replaced by the Anunnaki. Okay. And then uh, the scarlet, the high priestess was called this scarlet woman. Okay. And that's obviously the red blood. <clears throat> it was their monthly... Uh, blood let's just put it that way and that's what they were drinking now obviously they know exactly that the vatican is the scarlet woman riding the beast okay guys and on her forehead you have this idea of the infinity loop on her forehead okay so there it is this woman was riding scarlet so they know very well that they don't deny oh yeah these high luciferians they don't deny that this isn't them they know exactly of course they have their own definitions of what's really going on in their minds so yeah they know all about the scarlet women and that is now today it's the vatican but then they knew it was this anunnaki bloodline okay that's where this and then originally from there it turned into again alchemy and they said well tubal came was the first alchemist and then uh, Moses, when they were worshiping the brazen bull, he smashed it to powder, this fine gold dust. Uh, I think they added like platinum or something to make it white powder. And they're saying, now that's where this high, basically hormonal was the, uh, apparently they're saying it enhances the hormonal excrement of the pineal gland. Okay, and that's why you've got the pine, pineal gland, you always see them having that pine cone. Um, I don't know if I can see it, if they had a picture. Some of these pictures, you'll see them with a pine cone in the hand. But anyway, that's the pineal gland, and that's the pine resin of uh, frankincense, I believe. So that's supposedly what frankincense means. Um, but anyway, that's the connection for you there. So now, <clears throat> you have this idea of this uh, Luciferian reptilian bloodline. Now, what's interesting too is look at the, um, the, oh, I was also thinking how much you want to bet that the loops, think about this. Okay, we've talked about it earlier, this mark of the beast and the you know, mark of Cain and the seal is, you could say is both, they're both four cardinal directions. One's the mark of Abel, one's the mark of Cain, depending on which way you go through the cherubs, okay, guys? Because, and I want to say is these loops on the tabernacle, these 50 loops, okay, that would be the latter rain and the, that's gold, and then the dragon fire, which is the brass, Okay, because that's all they have. Tubal Cain has his brass, his iron, right? So, now, this is interesting. So, look at the word for brazen is also be uh, translated as, huh, interesting, lust and harlotry. So, there's another scarlet woman uh, connection for you. So, this copper brazen serpent, 
in the wilderness. Think about this is you put it on a pole. Boy, that sounds a lot like the bloodline tribe of Dan. Okay, you lift up an ensign with a serpent on it, a brazen serpent. And that serpent is, if you look up the word that's in numbers, is a seraph or a cherubim. Oh, that's interesting. So there is this idea of these brazen cherubs that we just talked about with this meta. What I just told you, these four cardinal directions, and you're going through the cherubs, <clears throat> okay? One cherub is on each point, okay? So that's really the connection, that's the, the big connection that people uh, need to make. And I was also thinking about this, these Dracula vampires and just thinking about how in Revelation you always see the water turning to blood. Of course, everybody's first knee-jerk reaction is to say, well, that just means bloodshed. I think there's a lot more going on with this whole blood uh, in this blood drinking clearly uh, that is illustrated here in this book. Okay, guys? So it's not, it's more than just, oh, yeah, there are, it's just bloodshed, like violence. It's much more than that. And it's perpetuating the Anunnaki bloodline uh, is what they're talking about. It's also interesting the uh, word for loop that I just mentioned is, is also the spiraling staircase, which According to Rosicrucians right here is the the uh, winding stairs and the colon, the intestines. If, if your body is a if your body is a temple, right? Now I I can't help but all of these books I've read or I read and I've shown you on my other videos is they always 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 get the orientation wrong every time. It's because they're these books are obviously channeled and the demons are telling them this is they always put the head, everybody knows the head is the Holy of Holies, should be in the West, they put it in the East. So every single time, without fail, they get the direct cardinal directions wrong. Of course, that's Ezekiel, what, eight and nine, they're worshiping the sun rising in the East, right? So they flip everything, that's no mystery to people watching this channel. Um, I just thought that I can't, I can't help by every time I find that, it's so funny. Um, so like I said, the infinity loop is just another way of drawing the squared circle or the compass in the square. Again, this is the square. It could be X, 10 kings, or it could also just be the four cardinal directions and then the circle on each end. Okay, guys, I think that is going to cover it. Oh, so I did want to cover real quick this... Uh, five have fallen. One is we've, I've just showed you the seventh is of the eighth. We saw that tubal cane, right? Now this five is fallen, the other not. So the fifth note is obviously the bottomless pit. Now, what some people don't realize when the word rendition bottomless pit is you have Apollyon, right? Is the destroyer. You look up the word perdition in the, uh, Revelation 17, so here it is, bad, you have a bad in Apollyon, Revelation 9, but Revelation 17, partition is rendered Apollyon, just like Apollyon, okay? Slightly different variation, but it's basically the same. It's a different Strong's number, okay? So it's basically the same thing. So I thought that was interesting. So the bottomless pit, five, and you can see his is we can, his strong connection with the five, the Pentagon, or pentagram, yeah, gone too, is Vulcan, okay? I showed you right here, okay? So I think that was all of my late finds I just did. Um, and like I said earlier, the octagon is obviously going to be a strong connotation with the Templars as well, or the Maltese cross. So hopefully you can connect the dots from there. Thanks for watching.